welcome to this particular session <clears throat> or in fact the series of videos in which we are going to see a very important calculations involved in thermodynamics as you can see here uh, in this particular <clears throat> yeah uh, screen You can see in this particular screen the dew point and bubble point calculations with Raoult's law. Yeah, uh, this can be this Raoult's law, or you know, this can be in fact, if the system is not ideal, it can take another uh, what do you call uh, <clears throat> system two or, or another gas law, okay, such as Van der Waals equation, okay, Penn, Robinson. In fact, we have to look at that. So what is the first one here? If you can see the first one here, which is actually looked at specifically is this, you know, what is the first one? First one is, or in fact, I would like to say bubble point calculations, okay? Bubble point calculations. See, exactly what is this bubble point calculations? Where is our what you call focus starts from. Suppose say I have a beaker, okay. In that, I have liquid, liquid present with me, okay. Liquid present with me, and I know the composition of the liquid. That means I have taken a known composition of the liquid, or rather, I my English I have to put it in another way. I have taken the liquid mixture with a known composition. That means. The composition which is represented in the liquid phase is given by X. I represents the ith component in the liquid phase. Then what happens is slowly at at certain pressure, at certain pressure, suppose say, or uh, let me take in another way, at certain temperature. Okay, let me not take pressure. At, at certain temperature, you know, at certain temperature, if there is a bubble being formed here, okay. Let me draw it in again, red color here. A bubble being formed here. Bubble of vapor is formed. So, what is that pressure at which this bubble has formed? And what is the composition of the vapor phase? That means this bubble of vapor. You know, what is the composition of that particular vapor phase? So, this is the concept behind the bubble point pressure calculations. Now the reverse, if I know the temper pressure, okay, if I know the pressure and Xi, what I'm calculating, again I have the bubble, again I have the bubble, now again I have the bubble here, what is the temperature at which this bubble has, bubble formation took place and when we say it's bubble, so it's a bubble, the bubble means bubble of the vapor. So there again, I would like to know, understand the composition of the vapor. So I say I am finding now T versus Yi. Okay. So coming to this particular first one, it is known as bubble P calculator. That means we are trying to find the bubble point pressure. And the third one, if I take, we are saying it is bubble P calculations. That means temperature calculations. That means these are the known quantities and these are the unknown quantities okay there are known quantities the statement you know this this particular total chapter what you are seeing this is from a textbook of vanas and smith thermodynamics what we are seeing this is from textbook introduction to chemical engineering thermodynamics okay this is edition 8 8th edition so this comes in the chapter 13 See, although the text is very beautifully written, although really problems with other combinations of variables are possible, engineering interest centers on dew point and bubble point calculations, of which there are four types. What we are seeing here, there are four types of. In this session, I have explained to you what is the bubble point pressure and what is the bubble point temperature, or exactly what is the starting point. How do I carry out the experiment 
to determine the bubble point calculations. That means what is my initial state? I take a beaker with a liquid mixture. Then I start doing certain things. Okay. 